Hello YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome, and if you are a returning viewer, thank you all so much for the love and the continued support of my channel. You guys, this is exciting. Today is my very first collaboration video with another YouTuber. So Chris, the beautiful, stunning, gorgeous Chris at the Perfume Nest, we're teaming up to give you our recommendations for spring gourmands. Yes, you can still do your gourmands in spring, okay? And so this list is going to give you some amazing options. Take advantage of the fact that it is not sticky, hot, humid, 105 degrees outside like it's about to be in a couple months in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, so it is still, you know, the perfect time to, to get some more wares uh, for, you know, your gourmands, all right? So without further ado, you guys, let's jump right into today's video. Okay, so before we get into my list, we thought it would be fun to try to guess at least one fragrance that the other would have on their list. Now, watching Chris's content, I know that she loves Deep in Desire Yachts by EBK. So if I had to guess one fragrance she is going to have on her list, it would be that fragrance. It's this gorgeous like, um, it's a gourmand, but it's almost like a blueberry muffin. And when I sampled it, I loved it. And it's probably going to be added into my collection this year, but it really does smell like a, a delicious, um, blueberry muffin or cake or something of that nature. It's often compared to One Umbrella for Two. Y'all, that was, it was something off about that fragrance, very green. Something was giving me like a hemp vibe. I don't know if, if the cedar and the tea, like something was just off, okay? Something I did not like and it smelled like wheat. It smelled like marijuana. This Deep in Desire, oh, stun love it okay so i know that's one of her faves so yeah i'm gonna guess chris that that is on your list okay so my list hey okay, we have some really sticky sweets uh we got a couple freshies okay fresh gourmand does exist i, I know y'all were like shocked <laughs> when your pistachio gelato came out and y'all have never seen a gourmand that is not sweet and sticky so I decided to put a couple of those on this list that are not your everyday, typical, heavy, thick, sweet gourmand fragrances. Let's start with the Yum Pistachio Gelato because she is on the list. This is the newest release from Kali, and this is going to brighten like up your gourmand life, all right? So this opens very like bergamot sweet, a touch of rum. I don't get a whole lot of rum, but there is definitely a like a sweet, fluffy, but also citrus bergamot opening. Now, I don't know how people are getting like shampoo, soap. I hear that a lot. Like I read that a lot in the comments. This just goes to show you people, notes don't mean a lot at the end of the day. Get your nose on these fragrances. They have a 10 mil. Why would you start out with a 100 mil of anything that is brand new, that you've never smelled? <sighs> like why? <laughs> like why? I am always want to start out with a 50 mil uh, if, and they have a 30, I'm gonna go with the 30 mil, okay? So start off small, get your nose on it because everyone's nose is different. Everyone knows is different. We experience fragrances in a, a, you know, a myriad of ways. And for me, it is, this is giving me Definitely gourmand. It is giving me like floral gourmand, however, because that too exists, which apparently a lot of people didn't um, realize. But yes, floral gourmand, what do we mean? There is a whole middle, you know, um, note section to this fragrance and they're mostly florals. Florals, fruits, I think there's like raspberry mentioned, couple fruits. You have pear, which is the fruit that I actually pick up on. You've got some peach. You have peony, which is a very fresh, you know, uh, watery floral in my opinion. So these things are coming in and they're making it have a very fresh smell and feel and vibe, which is actually perfect for spring. If you are in Georgia, like myself, it is, we have already had 80 plus degree days here within the past week. So, you know, your real sticky, sweet, hot and heavies, like they not gonna work. Um, you know, for me, just depending on the weather here is very, 
one day it's 30 degrees, one day it's 80 degrees. It's very flip floppy. So I like to have, you know, this range that I can pick from when I do want to smell sweet and irresistible. So this has a notes of pistachio ice cream, you know, the pistachio gelato, uh, but it is only slightly nutty to me. I don't get a whole lot of pistachio on my skin, but some do, which is why I'm saying test this one before. This wouldn't be a safe blind buy. Test it first. What I definitely get the most of is going to be the dry down notes, okay? I'm getting lots of marshmallow, lots of whipped cream. Um, it's got a Turkish delight uh, note in here. And I do get a hint of, you know, like this, this jammy, you know, rose type of vibe in the dry down. This has tonka bean, it's got some cacao, cedar in the base. I don't necessarily get a lot of that. Majority of what's coming off on my skin is going to be, like I said, whipped cream, marshmallow. There's a hint of freshness and it is floral. So Young Pistachio Gelato is one that I recommend that you get your nose on for spring because it's definitely giving me gourmand vibes, not clean, soapy vibes but it is a fresher take on a gourmand and I'm here for it. So next, let's go ahead and get to the next marshmallow, you guys, while we're here. Love Don't Be Shy by Killian is just a favorite, okay? One of my very first niche purchases. And so many people complained about the reformulation, but you guys, now my juice is pretty daggum dark, um, if you can see that. It's now starting to look like the color of the black bottle. I have the black bottle, which is your real, original formulation and I have this one. So I haven't worn this in months um, and it's time for me to go ahead and pull up my white bottle again because like I always say, I love um, fall and winter, I wear the black bottle because that one is very, you know, beast mode. It's heavy, thick, sticky, sweet. And this one was just a slightly fresher interpretation but still very, um, very true to the original notes uh, for this fragrance but just wearing a little lighter. Um, I wonder, I'm interested to see how this wears now that the, the juice has been sitting, you know, for a good year, year and a half. I think I got this probably a year and a half ago. Wonder if it is, you know, a much richer, darker, denser, deeper experience. Let's just see, let's just let's see how she's smelling. Let me see. No, this one is still, even though the juice is much darker, it's definitely that salmon color, this one is still wearing just a little fresher. So you do have this gorgeous Neroli orange blossom thing going on. You've got this caramel um, and this powderiness that come together to create a marshmallow accord in the fragrance. So you're smelling like pretty much Neroli, sweet marshmallows, and it is just irresistible, okay? This is a gourmand that I just never want to be without in my collection. And this is going to be perfect for spring. If smelling sticky sweet is your vibe, which is definitely my vibe, all right? Again, Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. Next up is going to be a vanilla, and this is from the House of Epico, and y'all already know how I feel about it. Vanny Charnel, it is that girl, okay? It is that girl. This is vanilla for the straight for vanilla lovers. If you do not like straight for vanillas, this probably will not be for you. I just don't understand how people would get like a straight for vanilla, a sample of it. No one is straight for vanilla and then be like, I mean, it's, it's just a vanilla. That Girl, that's what we said. That is what we said. So this is definitely straight for vanilla. If you need the cardamom, the spice, the this, the that to go with your vanillas, then okay, we, you can just do not collect 200, do not pass go because this is for the straight for vanilla girls, which I love a straight for vanilla. So this is vanilla, of course, but you've got these candy fruit notes that are quite indiscriminate, but you've got this almond blossom and Caramel, it's very like, this is gonna be a very buttery vanilla experience, okay? I don't have any vanillas like this. All of my straightforward vanillas are definitely straightforward, but there is just this one little different component in each, which justifies me buying them all, okay? Because you can never have too many in my opinion. But the way this one veers off into its own little territory is this is a buttery vanilla. The caramel on this thing 
is caramelling. This one sits closer to the skin. I've always said that. So if you're expecting this loud beast, this is not that. However, okay, this lasts on my skin and clothes all day. I know how to spray, okay? I spray like I have completely lost my mind before I go to work because I am not going to be taking decants with me, you know, to police. I, I, when I'm at work, I'm at work and my mind is not gonna be on, oh, let me go get my decan, let me top it off. No, honey, okay, we working <laughs> when we go to work. So I tend to spray myself down very heavy and this projects on me and it gets me compliments because I have been sitting at a desk, okay? People come into the, like they coming into the building and they're already asking like, it smells like vanilla in here. Is somebody burning a candle? It smells like, like you can, you know that people are taking notice of your scent and you're nowhere near them. So this is a softer scent, but I feel like if you really overspray this, people are going to smell this on you and it has wonderful longevity on my skin and clothes. I still smell this, on my, my clothes, you know, at the end of a long day. So spray, overspray this um, and get your life <laughs> because it is sweet. It is not overly sweet, but it, it's got this, like I said, buttery feel and something a little uplifting about it. This doesn't feel heavy, if that makes any sense. It's buttery, it's caramel, it's vanilla, but it doesn't feel heavy. Like um, Escapade Gourmand can feel really, um, you know, almost like creamy, uh, custardy type of vanilla, which is a, a lot more suited for fall and winter. This is going to be your, your sweet caramel vanilla girl that will wear beautifully in the spring. Again, so that is Vanny Charnel by the House of Epico. Oh, fabulous vanilla fragrance. All right, so next up is going to be, I would say this too is a fresher take on a gourmand, but it is definitely gourmand in my opinion. This is going to be a floral gourmand. This is Ruby Red from the House of Oud. I've talked about this many a time on the channel and I started off featuring this in my winter video, but guess what you guys, this wears beautifully right on in to spring. And I would venture to say that this is just going to be a gourmand that works year round. This is white floral. This is very, a uh, tuberose centered uh, fragrance, but it's got ginger in the top, mid and base. So you have a very fresh cut ginger in the top. When you get to the mid, you have a gorgeous ginger flower. And then the star of the show and the beauty is in the dry down when you get to the base of candied ginger. So as this wears and as it sweetens up on the skin, you're going to smell like a piece of candied ginger which is, oh, I love candy ginger, I don't know about you, but the fact that I can smell like it now is everything. And because this does have, you know, these this white floral components, the ylang ylang keeps it creamy, this just, um, it, it doesn't get into that super duper sweet, cloying type of gourmand fragrance. Again, perfectly floral gourmand. And if you're looking for something that has an edible quality, but still a little fresh, um, that is very versatile. Like you could wear this to work. Like some people don't do their gourmands, um, you know, in the, in the boardroom. You can wear this to work because this is almost like, it's gonna give you this hint of twilly because it is that ginger and tuberose, but they veer off and go into very different directions um, upon drying down because this goes into candy ginger, whereas twilly goes into soapy, uh, toned down ginger tuberose all day, okay? So if you love Twilly, you're gonna love this, I would venture to say. Um, and if you didn't like Twilly, but you kinda want that ginger white floral kick, but Twilly was just too much, too strong, too sharp, honey, give this one a try because you may love this one. Um, the performance on this, I would say is moderate. It's not gonna last you 12, 10, 12 hours, but definitely a good seven hours, I would say, that you have before you just kind of stop smelling it and it's a, just a bona fide skin scent. Moderate projection and um, performance because that is overall what I get from the House of Oud. Uh, Day Still Light, however, is a little different. That one, I feel like really projects and really lasts. But this one, I will say moderate wearing. So get your nose on it. Beautiful fragrance from the House of Oud again, that is Ruby Red. All right, so next up is no stranger to the channel. 
<laughs> this is Blanche Bat. This is the most amazing. Oh, you see I had to, my eyes had to close for a hot second. Okay, that's what the girl Blanche does to me. When I smell this, I kind of have to take a moment because it is like this very mystical, magical, like tonic fragrance. And it is a gourmand that is unlike any other gourmand. I'm telling you, like this is white floral, but it can be a little, like some people really get a tuberose out of this. To me, this smells very mixture white floral. This has jasmine, this has tuberose, and I feel like they're equal parts because I don't smell this to go tuberose. You know, like I smell this and I go tuberose. This, not so much, okay? You've got this, this very dry dusting of cacao. You've got this milkiness. It is very, very lectonic. Like this is lectonic number one. It's vanilla number two. And then I would say number three is the white florals. If you love lectonic fragrances, get your nose on it, okay? I don't recommend this as a blind buy. This is when I got a decant of first and it was love at first sniff. And it was, I'm gonna need to go ahead and order the full bottle the next day because it's exactly what I did. Love this fragrance. This has ridiculous sillage, okay? This does not wear like this, it's a beast, but them particles, when they get in the air, they not going nowhere because people are going to, I have been tracked down, okay? The sillage, it stays in the air. And when you pass by, when you pass through, you're leaving your mark. When you when you have this on, people are going to smell it. And it is just beautiful. It lasts forever and a day on my skin and clothes. When I leave work, so I've worked 12 hour shift. So when I leave work and I can still smell something prominently, that's how you know that it is performing, okay? This lasts all day on my skin and my clothes because when I smell up in here, okay, the hot spots is still there after 12, 13 hours. So beautiful performance, worth every dime. And I've had mine for a while because I've been raving about Blanche Bent for like a whole full year. And the juice is starting to turn dark because it's very vanilla forward. So keep that in mind. If you get your bottle and the juice is pretty much clear, that is normal. But as it sits, it's going to get darker just like any other prominent vanilla usually. So uh, if you love vanilla, if you love like tonic, this is a dream and a perfect wearing gourmand for spring because this is highly versatile, even though it may not sound like it, cacao, milk, like what? But the way it's blended, the way it's balanced, the like the airiness and like clouds of it all, <laughs> the magic of it all, it all comes together to create something that in my opinion is a gourmand masterpiece. Let's get to a designer, honey, a designer that has, child, this thing is on E, okay? <laughs> we probably, I can't see, but if I had to guess, we're below the circle. This is Black Opium La Parfum. Y'all, YSLs just, they trickling on into my, my little collection because I had not a one before Baby Cat. Um, Black Opium La Parfum is a fabulous gourmand, fragrance for a vanilla lover. Some people are saying they don't get like the three vanillas and honey. Every, like I said, everyone's nose is different. I get vanilla, okay? I don't know, maybe my nose is more sensitive to vanilla. Maybe that's why I love it so much, I don't know. But this is a vanilla bomb. This has the black opium DNA, but it is dialed way back. So if the white floors were too sharp, if the coffee was teamed too much, this is the one you wanna get your nose on because all of that is there, but it is Definitely taking a back seat. The vanilla is front and center. You get a hint of the coffee, which I love. Um, it is sweet, but it is not like overly sweet, tooth rotting, and it's not sharp in any way. It's very smooth, very well blended, and just a much better version of the, the black opium representation. And I found this to be very refined and I had to get it, like I had to get the 100 mil upgrade because I love this fragrance. Now, this I feel like is going to work for spring to summer because like I said, this is a little lighter wearing than the original. Um, the Black Opium Extreme, I finally smelled that one before I got this one, I loved it, but that one definitely was giving me fall winter vibes. This one, if you want to smell edible, sensual, you know, very on your aphrodisiac, 
ish for date nights for spring, this is the one you need to wear. Men love black opium. Like they love black opium, okay? But this one I just feel like is a lot more wearable and Oh, like I said, vanilla. Who, what man don't like vanilla? Let me know in the comments below. Your man hate vanilla? Cause I, I, uh, I don't know any that that just despise vanilla. They, most men love vanilla on their woman. And this one, like I said, vanilla bomb, and it is giving. All right, black opium by YSL, the La Parfum. All right, next up is another designer. This is going to be from Clean Reserve. This one is a, I think this is their new release. This is Sparkling Sugar. And this is a fresh gourmand, you guys. Can you believe it? We have another fresh gourmand. This is my very first clean reserve just because a lot of their fragrances are just not my vibe. Like I'm not a clean scent, fresh, soapy. I ain't trying to smell like rain, honey. I ain't trying to smell like the dew on the doors outside. I'm not trying to smell like that. But when I smelled this in Sephora, it immediately went on in my little bag. This is um, a fresh gourmand that smells like it's giving me the sponge sugar vibe, but for some some kind of way, some kind of, I don't know how, you know how Baccarat Rouge has a very sweet presence. It's very sweet. It is very sugary sweet, but there is just still like this um, feeling of transparency. There is still like this quality of, it doesn't feel heavy and thick. There is an airiness to it because of that saffron. Same here. There is something, there's like this air whipped into this, like I said, the sponge sugar. Like there's air whipped into the sugar. It has a peach note. This has been compared to another one of their fragrances. I think it's the Nectar. I've never smelled that one. However, because people are comparing it so much, I would say if you have the Nectar, get your nose on this one first. But this is just one that you wanna smell sweet, but you don't wanna smell too heavy, thick and cloying. Honey, overspray this. It's so feminine. It's, it's beautiful. This is like sponge sugar in a bottle and I love this. If I want to smell like a, like a, like a fresh snack, okay? <laughs> um, this is what I'm pulling for. Um, and I would imagine these probably layer very beautifully together though I've never tried it. Beautiful fragrance and I feel like this is just like one I'm gonna be wearing quite a bit of in the spring and summer, around the house, out running errands, maybe not like a date night type snack, situation but an everyday fresh gourmand that is beautiful in my opinion again this is sparkling sugar by clean reserve all right next up is girl of now and this is by Ely Saab. so this is another orange blossom but baby she thick she's sweet she is heavy she is cloying she is pistachio orange blossom all of the things this is for the girls who like it unmistakably gourmand this is not for your on the fence freshy you know um meek demure gourmand this is for the gourmand girls straight up and down heavy thick sweet but i feel like because of the fresher like florals that are in here um the pistachio like this is still going to carry you into spring this may definitely be too much for summer even though i wear this at home like in the house with the ac blasting in summer it may be too much for summer but i feel like this can still get you some wears in spring so i'm putting it on the list because i wear it throughout spring okay if you have a day where you know it's not going to be super hot if you want to smell like a snack, okay? If you have a date night and he loves those really sweet fragrances on you, this is it. <laughs> this is it. Now, has this been discontinued? I know it's still available on like discounters, but I feel like this has been discontinued. But you guys, the way the ambery, sugary, you know, color, caramel color of this all, the bottle, the juice, um that that is what it smells like okay so if you don't like really really sweet this probably won't be for you but this is such a delicious fragrance that i had to include on the spring gourmands list again that is girl of now by elisa right, guys so next up on the list is going to be lyra and you know she was probably going to make this list this is from zerjov the cosmorati line oh and this is literally like a if you could imagine like a lemon sponge cake, all right? But she is drizzled with caramel and she's topped with like just this little dusting of lavender. That is what this smells like. And it is 
gorgeous. Now this one is gonna be a scent bubble scent. Like this is not gonna be loud, be smell, none of that. But this thing smells so delicious. This was one of my first, I feel like, like highfalutin gourmand type of, I got my love, don't be shy, but I feel like this is one of the gourmands I got next because people were really hyping this up at the time. And the hype is real. I am a Lyra girl. There is still a freshness that you get from this because it is like this blood orange and you have that lavender. Those keep it from going into that super cloying sweet uh, territory. And this is gonna be a perfect gourmand for spring. This is very, very rich caramel, okay? And that is what makes it absolutely irresistible. The way this wears and sweetens up, you're going to be like in edible heaven. But it still smells like a perfume, so it's not too foodie, but it's gourmand done just right in my opinion, all right? Again, so that is Lyra by Zerjoff. All right, loves, and so the last fragrance on this list is going to be none other than Orza by the house of Tiziana Sorenzi. So another caramel bomb. But baby, this thing is not for the, you know, the, the girl who likes it slightly sweet, okay? She gotta like it very robust, substantial, sweet, fruity. Like that is what Orza is. So you have these wild berries at the top. You have green apple. You've got coconut, um, magnolia, orchid, and Primarily what I'm getting is going to be definitely a green apple. It is so crisp and, and fresh and beautiful, but you've got this powderiness from the orchid. You have this creamy coconut, you know, and then you get into a, again, a very powdery middle of a lily of the valley. You have accents of jasmine and Bulgarian rose. Um, which really isn't anything distinguishable. Like you don't smell this and pick up on rolls, um, but you definitely get the powdery elements from the florals. The star is definitely going to be more so the caramel, the fruits, the musk. Um, this has a base of caramel, okay? So you're getting caramel. <laughs> you are getting an abundance of musk. You've got some amber, benzoin, and sandalwood and vanilla rounding it out beautifully. This thing has, you know, very strong projection. It has wonderful sillage, longevity, everything that we have come to expect from Tiziana Terenzi. It's what you're getting here. You have this fabulous presentation. This is painted glass. And then it has the, the gold sea star on top, which is actually, to my understanding, actually plated gold. So this does not oxidize, um, you know, as it gets older, it stays intact for seeing. You've got this leather, um, you know, facing on the cover. And it is just a very opulent experience right on down to, you know, when you spray it, this is gold and it's marked with their, their house um, emblem. So presentation on 10, but this fruity caramel balm is also truly amazing for spring. Very heavy and sweet. So again, perfect time to go ahead and get it in now because even though a lot of people put this in like the summer category, this may be much too much <laughs> for people um, in the summertime. This can be cloying, you know, to so many. So I would say spring is the opportune time to get this gourmand going, all right? So you guys, that is our video for today. I would like to thank Chris for collabing with me on this video. You guys, be sure to check out her channel. She has an amazing channel with very, very good taste in fragrance. She has a beautiful collection. And though we have similar tastes, like her collection is very different from mine. And she has so many gems um, that I'm actually trying to get my nose on because I learned so much when I do watch her videos. She has great taste, all right? So be sure to check her out. I will link her channel in the description box below. Be sure you are subscribed, you guys. Subscribe to this channel. Make sure that subscription button has turned gray. You can watch one video. YouTube will still be recommending, okay, you think you're a subscriber, but you're not. So make sure that that subscription button is grayed out. Be sure that you do have the notification bell turned on so that you never miss any of my uploads. And last but not least, if you found value in the content, give the video a big thumbs up as it helps the channel to grow. You guys, it is real. I love you all YouTube, and I will catch you guys on the next one.